Welcome to my CBSC English teacher. Today let's look at the summary of the poem Father to Son by Elizabeth Jennings from class 11 English. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. You can listen to the explanations of lessons from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. About the poet Elizabeth Jennings was an English poet whose works relate to intensely personal matters in a plain spoken traditional and objective style and whose verse frequently reflects her devout Roman Catholicism and her love of Italy Introduction This poem has an autobiographical tone. The father and his son have been living together in the same house for years. Instead of coming closer, they are drifting apart. The new generation wants to live life on its own terms. The youngsters think independently. They cease to be on talking terms. The father feels helpless. Let's look at the summary of the poem. The father and the son have been living together in the same house for several years yet there is no communication between them they live like strangers the father knows almost nothing about the son's grievances and demands he is unhappy yet eager to mend fences he wants to analyze the situation and discover the reasons why their relationship has turned sour the boy was quite nice when he was small The father fails to understand where he made the mistake in the upbringing of his child. Possibly he sowed the seed on the land which belonged to somebody else. The child bears resemblance with him, but he thinks very differently from him. There is some gap in communication and understanding. He has perhaps failed to see the child's point of view, his dreams and aspirations, his likes and dislikes. The two are not even on talking terms. This is an unbearable situation. He is ready to ignore the boy's wasteful habits when he comes back to his father's house. He is pained to note that the grown-up son is planning to live separately in a world of his own creation. He plans to give his son all his love and stop grumbling. His topmost priority is to break the silence that has encircled them. The son also talks sensibly. He also feels that the father and the son ought to live in the same place and in the same house, but his stubbornness hurts and irritates the father. His sorrow turns into anger and also because he feels defeated. Yet he is ready for a compromise. In fact, both have the same desire to come together. They are only waiting for an excuse to forget the past and forgive each other. Questions and answers. Question number one: What is the father's complaint against his son? Answer: The father complains that he is losing touch with his own son. Their relationship is under strain. They live like strangers in the same house. The son wants to live life on his own terms and free himself from parental domination. Question number two: What does the father long for? Answer. The father is much tense and upset about his son. He fails to see where he made a mistake. He wants to make peace with his son and keep him in the same house. He is willing to forget and forgive the boy. He is only waiting for an excuse. Question number 3. Can you suggest a solution to the widening gap between the father and the son? Answer. The tussle between parents and youth is very old and universal. The parents see the young ones as their property and try to impose their will on them. They revolt. The solution is a little understanding between them. The father must try to understand and respect the demands of the son. The language of love and a little understanding can bridge the gap and avert the clash. Let's look at some extract based questions. Stanza 1. I do not understand this child though we have lived together now in the same house for years I know nothing of him so try to build up a relationship from how he was when small 
here are the questions who have lived in the same house and how long why does the father say that he knows nothing of him what kind of relationship does he want to build up answers the father and the son have lived in the same house for years they live like strangers in the same house complete silence surrounds them when they are at each other's presence that's why he says that he knows nothing of his son he wants to build up the same kind of relationship as he used to have when his son was a little child stanza number 2 yet have i killed the seed i spent or sown it where the land is his and none of mine we speak like strangers there's no sign of understanding in the air here are the questions and answers what does the word seed signify what land does the speaker speak of why do they speak like strangers the word seed here refers to all the hard work the father had to do to bring up the child the child's mind is the land into which the father had tried to sow the seeds of his thoughts they speak like strangers because they have different ways of life and thoughts Here stands a tree this child is built to my design yet what he loves i cannot share silence surrounds us i would have him prodigal returning to his father's house the home he knew rather than see him make and move his world i would forgive him too shaping from sorrow a new love here are the questions and answers what kind of child had he decided to design why does the speaker say this child and not my child explain silence surrounds us what does the father want his son to do answers he has decided to design a child who shared his likes and dislikes because the child has nothing in common with him there is no communication at all between the father and the son there is complete silence when they are near each other He wants his son to come back to his father's home. I hope you like today's video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSE English teacher and don't forget to like, share and give your valuable comments below. Thank you for watching.